Today, I'm going to talk about the best pitcher out of Japan, Tomoyuki Sugano. What's up guys, it's Tom here with another video. I wanted to talk about Sugano today because I feel like his decision flew under the radar with the recent Francisco Lindor trade and also the Liam Hendricks signing. I'll be talking about what's in his arsenal, what he excels at, what his 2020 season looked like, and his career in the MPB looked like, and then also I'll talk about how he faced some MLB batters as well. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB and baseball content. So let's start talking about Tomoyuki Sugano. In his arsenal, he's got a four seam fastball and also a two seam fastball that sit in the low 90s. He has a slider that ranges from the lower 80s to the upper 80s. I believe he has two different kind of sliders. He has one that has a lot more depth and is more like a slurve in my opinion. And then also his harder slider slider the ones that you see hit 88 miles per hour are more sharper and have that hard dip with that he has a curveball that's about 80 miles per hour just to throw off the batter and that's nothing special but he also does have a splitter that is very effective against lefties and at times he'll even throw it against righties so his most recent season in the mpb in the 2020 season he went 14 and 2 with a 1.97 era and 137 and a third innings pitched he had 131 strikeouts a 0.888 whip with a 8.6 K per nine. On his career in the MPB, he has a 2.32 ERA, a 1.035 whip, and a eight K per nine. He is a two-time Sawamura Award winner, which is the equivalent to the Cy Young Award, and he is also a two-time Central League MVP. His best start of 2020 was on July 3rd when he went a complete game shutout. He threw nine innings, zero earned runs, one hit, 11 strikeouts and two walks on the day. So as you can see, he flashes dominance and then is very consistent throughout his season and career so far in the MPB. I'll talk about what he excels at now and things that I've seen from watching him pitch. He has plus plus command. His command is very good. He can control where he's throwing the ball. What I've noticed is that he likes to throw to righties that two seam off the outer half of the plate and try to run it back and catch the corner of the plate for a strike. And this also goes well with his slider that he can throw in the exact same spot. And instead of breaking towards the plate, it breaks away from the hitter. And that causes a lot of swing and misses. And I think the strikeouts as well. He likes to throw the splitters to lefties more often, like down and away. I've also noticed that he does the same thing to righties with lefties. But instead with trying to run a two seam back on the outside of the plate, he'll backdoor a slider over the outside half of the plate to try and grab some strikes. Also to lefties, he isn't afraid to go inside to them. He'll throw the ball inside, outside, regardless of a hitter. But especially to lefties, I noticed that he'll try to throw that front hip two seam and try to run it back over the plate and get a strike call. Those are the things that I've noticed from watching Sugano pitch. I think he'll translate very well into the MLB because he doesn't rely on his velocity to get guys out. It's kind of interesting. He has kind of a unique motion, but one that you might recognize because at first in my head, I thought he looked like Masahiro Tanaka as well but I didn't want to make that comparison just because they're both Japanese pitchers. But on MLB tonight, I saw a video of them comparing the two. And let me tell you, it <laughs> it's actually pretty similar. So I wasn't tripping. I wasn't seeing that in my head. They do look similar. And also I think their pitching styles are pretty similar. Tanaka has the splitter that he goes to a lot. Same with Sugano, but I think he mixes in the slider a lot more. And I think that is his strikeout pitch going forward if he were to come to the MLB. While we're on the topic of him and how he would do in the MLB, he's actually faced some MLB hitters before in the 2017 World Baseball Classic when Team USA played Team Japan. This was a semifinal game that he pitched in. He went six innings with three hits, six strikeouts, and just one walk allowed. Some notable names that he struck out on this team were Christian Yelich, and he also struck out Nolan Arenado twice that game. I believe this was when he started to flash on the radars of MLB teams when he impressed the Team USA in the 2017 World Baseball Classic. He ended up not coming to the US and signing with a MLB team. For whatever reason, he may not have gotten the money he was looking for in this weird and strange offseason, but he did sign a four-year $40 million deal with the Yomiuri Giants back in Japan.
In my opinion, Sugano is a very solid pitcher. He's proven it in the MPB, and he's also dominated MLB hitters as well in the World Baseball Classic back in 2017. So, in my opinion, his game will translate in the MLB. But in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts and how he'll do in the MLB. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB content and baseball content in general. You don't want to miss out on anything, so make sure to hit the notification bell as well. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Perfect.